Hello families and students in the community of Churchill Academy N64. My name is Chris Hildrew and I'm the head teacher of Churchill. The government has published updated guidance for schools in line with step four on the roadmap out of lockdown. This guidance will apply to schools from the beginning of September 2021. Many of the restrictions that we've become used to this year have been removed, but some precautions will still remain in place. In this video version of the update letter, I will update you on the arrangements we ha will have in place next year and in particular, the arrangements for the return to school in September 2021. Our guiding principle in designing our processes for 2021 to 22 is to return to as close to normal as we possibly can. We're retaining a number of sensible safety precautions where they enhance our provision, but our aim is to enable as much of our normal practice to resume as possible. Mixing in bubbles. Students will be able to mix freely from September. However, schools are still required to maintain an outbreak management plan to reintroduce more restrictive measures in the event of an outbreak of COVID-19. Therefore, students will remain in their existing year group based tutor groups in September. We plan to return to our original vertical tutoring system in March 2022, when the newly rebuilt Stuart House block is scheduled to reopen. We will also continue with separate year group social areas and separate food serveries for each year group to reduce overcrowding and to ensure effective supervision and management of students at social times. Details of these social areas and food serveries will be provided to students in September. With cases of COVID-19 COVID in school, as is currently the case, anyone showing any of the symptoms of COVID-19, however mild, should not attend school. They should self-isolate and book a PCR test as soon as possible. Any student displaying any of the symptoms of COVID-19 in school will be sent home to self-isolate and to book a PCR test. The common symptoms of COVID-19 include a high temperature. This means if you feel hot to touch on your chest or back, you do not need to measure your temperature. A new continuous cough. This means coughing a lot for more than an hour or three or more coughing episodes in 24 hours. If you usually have some kind of cough, it may be worse than usual and or a loss or change to your taste of smell, your sense of smell or taste. This means you've noticed you cannot smell or taste anything or things smell or taste different to normal. Please remember that lateral flow tests are not designed for people with symptoms. If you have symptoms, you must book a PCR test. For contact tracing and isolation, under the existing guidance, schools identify close contacts of any confirmed cases of COVID-19 and send them home to self-isolate for 10 days. This sometimes involves only a few close contacts, sometimes entire classes, and even on occasion, whole year groups. This system will be scrapped over the summer. From September, NHS Test and Trace will take over the full responsibility of contact tracing. This means that we will no longer send home close contacts of confirmed cases unless we are instructed to do so by NHS Test and Trace. If a student or a double vaccinated adult is identified as a contact of a confirmed case of COVID-19 from September, they will need to take a PCR test at a local testing centre as soon as possible. They will only need to continue their self-isolation if that test is positive. On receipt of a negative PCR test result, students and double vaccinated staff can return to school immediately, even if they've been identified as a con close contact of a confirmed case. We will continue to provide remote education to any student required to self-isolate with a positive test for COVID-19. Contact isolations, however, are likely to be short as PCR test results are normally returned within 24 hours. So we expect the disruption caused by these isolations to be minimal. And I know that will be a great relief to many of you, and as it certainly will be to us. For control measures in school, on face coverings, face coverings will no longer be required in school or on home to school transport at any time. Any student who wishes to continue to wear a plain uh, face covering at any time will be permitted to do so, but no student or member of staff will be required to wear a face covering at any time. 
For hygiene, we will continue to provide hand sanitizer dispensers in every classroom and encourage students to follow the catch it, bin it, kill it approach if they cough or sneeze. And we'll be continuing with our enhanced cleaning programme, including regular cleaning of touch points, including door handles and light switches throughout the day. This is good for the general health of the school, reducing the spread of many infections, not just of COVID-19. And on ventilation, we'll be continuing to ventilate all our buildings to their full capacity to improve fresh airflow. All of our refurbished and newly built classrooms in the Athena Donald Building, Lancaster House and the new Stuart House rooms, they will have been designed with fresh air supplied through air conditioning. Other rooms will have doors and windows open as much as possible. As you know, we've revised our uniform policy to allow students to keep their academy hoodies on in lessons due to the increased ventilation and airflow in classrooms. On attendance, school attendance is mandatory for all students of compulsory school age, and it remains our priority to ensure that as many children as possible regularly attend school. We expect all students to have 100% attendance, but we classify good attendance as 95% or better. On visitors, we will now be able to hold pre-arranged face-to-face meetings with parents and visitors from September onwards, where required. We will continue to offer phone calls and or video conferencing as an option, as many families find these more convenient. However, please remember that all parent meetings must be pre-booked by appointment so that staff are prepared for the conversations and so that the meeting may be held at a mutually convenient time please help us to help you by pre-booking any meetings you need with members of staff at the Academy. As for parents' evenings and information evenings, they will also be held online through our school cloud uh, system that has been so successful this year. On coronavirus testing, home testing will pause over the summer holidays. Students will not be required to complete their twice weekly home tests or to report the results to the NHS or to the Academy over the summer holidays. Home testing will resume for the month of September 2021. The programme will then be reviewed by the government at the end of September and will provide a further update when we know it. For on-site testing, at the start of term in September, all students with consent to do so will need to take two on-site lateral flow tests in the same way as took place on the return to school in March. We'll be using newly developed lateral flow tests in September, and these tests only require a swab from the inside of the nostrils. Unlike the current tests and the home tests, they do not require a throat swab. Also, these new tests return results much more quickly in only 15 minutes. We will use existing consents to provide these tests to students. If you wish to change your consent status, either if you previously consented to testing and now wish to withdraw your consent, or if you previously did not provide consent and now wish to do so, please contact us to advise either by telephoning or emailing the Academy. If your child joined the Academy after March 2021, we will contact you to discuss the testing programme and agree consent for testing. Because of the introduction of the on-site testing programme, we will need to stagger the start of term in order to accommodate all of our students through the test centre. Start of term arrangements are therefore as follows. On Tuesday the 31st of August, we'll be offering on-site testing for new year seven and year 12 students. A separate letter will be sent out to advise those students about this day. Wednesday the 1st of September is an inset day for staff only. On Thursday the 2nd of September, is the first day of term for Year 7 and Year 12 students only. Year 7 will come and report to the Academy Hall and Year 12 will report to the Sixth Form Centre. From 1 o'clock p.m. on Thursday the 2nd of September, on-site testing will be available for Year 13 students only. So Year 13 should arrive from 1 o'clock p.m. on Thursday the 2nd of September just to take their on-site COVID test. On Friday the 3rd of September, we'll have the first day of term for Year 11 and Year 13 students. Year 11 will report to the Canopy area on arrival so that they can take their coronavirus test before we start. And Year 13, having been tested the day before, will report straight to the Sixth Form Centre. 
On Monday the 6th of September, the remaining students returned to school. From 8.20am, Year 10 should arrive and report to the canopy on arrival, and they will have an assembly period 3. At 10.30am, we would like Year 9 to arrive and report to the canopy on arrival, uh, and they will have a hall, an assembly in the hall period 5. And at 1 o'clock p.m., we would like Year 8 to arrive and report to the canopy, and their assembly will be on Tuesday morning. We hope that many families will be able to accommodate this staggered start time, which has been forced upon us by the testing programme, and be able to bring your children into school at the times we have specified. However, if you are unable to make alternative transport arrangements for Monday the 6th of September, please send your children in as normal using home to school transport and we will accommodate them during the day. Uniform. As detailed in my letter of 9th of June, we are returning to our normal uniform arrangements from September 2021. Students will need to attend in full academy uniform, including correct shoes, from the first day of term. Full details of the uniform arrangements, including examples of acceptable and unacceptable shoes, can be found in the letter, which is on our website, but also on our uniform guidance pages, which you can find under the admissions tab on the website. Students will therefore be required to change for PE next year. This is because of hygiene concerns around teenagers remaining in PE kit all day. If students have PE period one and work up a sweat, as they should, or if it's raining and they get wet or muddy, it would be unhygienic and unhealthy for them to remain in PE kit for the rest of the day. This year, we've adapted our PE curriculum because of COVID to avoid some of these issues, including more indoor PE and fewer team games and strenuous activities. However, we'll be returning to a full PE curriculum from September and this will mean that changing is essential. On behaviour, over recent weeks we've held focus fortnights to reset behaviour expectations following the disruption caused by the pandemic. During these fortnights we've reminded our students of the expectations around mobile phones, with the rule, my mobile phone will not be seen or heard in the academy at any time. Mobile devices should be switched off and kept out of sight in students' bags or lockers throughout the school day. We've also focused on punctuality and we expect all students to be in their classroom punctually, ready to learn as soon as the bell has sounded after break and lunch. On jewellery and nails, we've reminded students that they're permitted a maximum of one watch, one ring and one pair of earrings, one in each ear, studs or sleepers only. Hoops, rings and dangly earrings are not permitted. No other piercings are allowed, for example nose, tongue or any other part of the body and nail varnish and false nails are not permitted in school at all. And over this last few weeks, we've been having a focus on kindness, curiosity and determination. Students are expected to model the academy values at all times. In our final focus fortnight, we've been looking for opportunities to reward students who demonstrate our values. All of these expectations, alongside those in our code of conduct, which you can find on the website, will continue to apply throughout the next year. We thank you in advance for your support of the Academy in helping our students to meet those expectations. If you have any questions about the arrangements for the start of term in September or for the next academic year, please contact the Academy via email on churchill at churchill-academy.org or by phone on 01934 852 771. I will send out a final end of term update next week before we break up for the summer and I'll record a video version of that too. I'll see you then. Thanks so much and goodbye.